kind of game and that's what they thought would work. Um, I don't know, very odd, but uh, overall, I love it. Uh, I've not played the multiplayer much, I had a quick go, but it's not for me, I'm not a big fan of multiplayer, and basically I suck anyway, I just die a lot, so there's not much point in playing it. But the, the single player campaign is absolutely fantastic. It is very short, as they always are, but for me, I'd rather play this than Modern Warfare 2 any day. Uh, it's absolutely superb. Okay, next up. Right, where should we go next? Okay, yeah. Right. Now, um, hang on. I want to say a big thank you to my good friend Radio Free. Um, Barry emailed me a couple of weeks, no, about a week ago, um, and he dropped me a PM just to say, "Hey Pete, I've got um, a good deal going on at Argus, and there's a couple of great games going cheap." And uh, when I had a look, I was like, "Oh yes, I've got to get those." So, I mean, the two games I wanted to play for a while anyway. One I was never too sure about, but I really wanted to play it anyway. Um, and they were dirt cheap at Argus, so I went and picked them up. And what I got, guys, was Heavy Rain and God of War 3. And these games were selling at Argus last weekend, brand new sealed, £15 each. And so I wasn't going to pass that up. I mean, they're both uh, 25 quid at Amazon at the moment, last time I checked a couple of days ago, so it's excellent. So, first off, Heavy Rain. Wow. I'm not I'm just unbelievably blown away by this game. All of the hype that this game's had, and I was like, I played the demo. When I played the demo, I couldn't get to grips with the controls. I, I, I've said a few times I hate quick time moments. Uh, for me, it just ruins games. It just it just frustrates the hell out of me. I never see the point in putting them in games. Of course, Heavy Rain is based all around the quick time mo mo moments and movements. Um, that's how you operate the game. But I think in this respect, that's how the game operates. So it's fine. It's not like playing a game and it just suddenly appears out of nowhere. Like you get in some of the Treyarch Call of Duty games. Um, I just I just can't believe how good it is. It's really fun. I, I mean, I played the demo, as I say, and I couldn't get to grips with it, and I got frustrated, and I thought, oh, I'm never going to play this game. And I thought, well, I'll wait till it comes down in price. When it's cheap, I might pick it up and give it another shot. And then uh, my dad ordered the PlayStation Move a few weeks ago, which, if you remember, if you've seen the video, I'll put a video up for it. And um, I downloaded a load of demos on his PlayStation so we could try out the Move. And I said to him, oh, get the Heavy Rain demo, I'll give it a try, see if it plays better with the move, maybe I'll be able to play it more like that. So we downloaded it, and uh, before the move arrived, I decided to have another go on the Heavy Rain demo. And I loaded the demo up, and for some reason, I don't know what happened, but the controls became natural, and I just went straight through the demo, no problem at all. And me and my dad were sitting there, and we were playing it together, and that's the really beauty of this game, is that you can sit there with someone, and you can discuss what to do next, what, you know, what action you should take, what you should say to somebody. It's such a great adventure game in that respect, I loved it. And uh, we got through the demo and it was like, even my dad who really isn't into games as much now as he was as a kid, I mean, you know, he likes classics like, you know, like Phoenix and Asteroids, but he's not into like these big budget games, he can't get to grips with the two analog sticks, it, it confuses him a bit, and he gets annoyed, <laughs> there's too many buttons. Um, and so he was sitting there watching this with me and he was really impressed, and I, I must admit so was I. And so when I picked this up and played it last weekend, I literally got it on the Saturday morning, Got back, uh, downloaded the move patch, which took like an hour. It was just massive, which was a right pain in the arse. And then from like 1 o'clock till about 7 o'clock, I sat there and played Heavy Rain. Uh, watched X Factor, <laughs> as you do. And then after X Factor, I went back on, and it was just probably about half nine, something like that. And I was on it till 1 o'clock in the morning. Then I woke up Sunday, um, went and had my dinner, come back on the afternoon and finished the game. And I've got to say, it was an absolute enthralling game. I mean... Radio 3 summed it up, it's an interactive movie, it's not a game really. And if you if you want to try that, I mean, you've just, got, you've just got to give it a shot, it's brilliant. It's basically you sit there watching the film, and you decide the outcome, you decide you know, the conversations between characters, and uh, your every action has a reaction, and it's just brilliant the way they've done it, it's so cleverly done. The acting is amazing, the mocap's fantastic, the graphics are just pff, unbelievably stunning. And the characters are really well done, I mean, the acting's that good, it really draws you in, and you really have a bond with the characters. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to give it away who the origami killer is because I don't want to ruin it for anybody that plays the game because it's a total shot. But let's put it this way: uh, the character that ends up being the origami killer was the character that I liked the most, which was my favourite character, and I thought that that character was really cool. And I said this to Radio Three, and um, I finished the game afterwards, and I wrote to him, I was like, I can't believe it, and he, he thought it was really funny because you know he knew what was coming. <laughs> but um, it's, it's also got replay value, which is good because. I'm going to play through it a second time now and change things because I did uh, end up killing a couple of characters off at the end, unfortunately. So I want to try and save those characters next time. Um, and I just want to try and 
do a few different things. So it's just absolutely stunning. Honestly, if, uh, if like me, you're not happy with uh, quick time moments, just give it a try. Just pick it up and try it. It's just a stunning, stunning game. Uh, I even got the DLC, and I've never downloaded DLC for any game. But I just I was that impressed with this game, I had to go and get a DLC. And uh, it's only one scene from the game. It's a really short scene, but you can do it like multiple times with different endings. And it's the most intense scene I've ever seen. It's basically you play the investigator, which is this um, the female character in the game, and you f you're following the lady in the uh, DLC, and you go in this house where it's was it a taxidermist who stuffs animals. And uh, you wonder around his house, and he comes home early, and you find like dead bodies in the bedroom, all stuffed up like animals. And you have to try and escape the house without getting, without getting caught. And trust me, the intention you get at the build is unreal, and it's just stunning. Uh, I did get killed the first time, but the second time I managed to escape. Uh, and oh, It's just brilliant. Uh, heavy rain, pick it up, it's amazing. Um, okay, so uh, God of War 3. I've not played a lot of this yet, I'm a bit stuck at the moment. Um, I only started it a couple of nights ago, but so far, very, very nice. Um, I'm not a big fan of these kind of games usually, but I just wanted to give it a shot because the demo was so good. And uh, I've got to say, it's one of the most beautiful looking games I've ever seen in my life. I mean, you know, Heavy Rain and God of War 3, I mean, and Uncharted 2, it just proves why the PlayStation 3 is such a good system. Um, it doesn't have a lot of exclusives, but the, qual the quality of the exclusives it does have are just like, you know, head and shoulders above every other system. It's just. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, really gory and brutal as well. It's quite a vicious game, but uh, it's really fun, and I'm definitely going to finish it. And then I'll give my full impressions. But so far, loving it. And okay, what have we got next? Right. Okay, I'll finish off the PlayStation 3 game. So I seem to have bought quite a few this month. And the last one I've got, which I've not even started yet, Castlevania: Lord of Shadows. Lords of Shadow. I always get the wrong way around. Castlevania, Lords of Shadow. Um, this came, only came out a few weeks back. I mean, was it even a month ago? I don't know. It hasn't been that long since this came out. Um, and I was lying downtown to get Heavy Rain and God of War. I noticed in Game Station they were selling Castlevania for twenty seven ninety nine. And I thought, oh, that's strange. Well, they dropped the price so early. So I thought, oh, fair enough. So a couple of days ago, I went on Amazon. And uh, Amazon's selling it now for nineteen ninety nine. So I was like, brilliant, I'm having that. Um, and when this arrived... As you can see, it's unsealed, um, so I was like, oh shit, it's a second hand game, or it's a return, and I was like, oh bloody hell. So I opened up the case, had a look, uh, as you can see, it's all mint, the disc is immaculate, there's no marks or nothing on it, so I wasn't that fussed, because I was like, well, you know, even if it's a return or a second hand, uh, it was 20 quid, so it's half price, so you can't complain really. So uh, I was talking to Tony Yippie, and he says to me, he says, well, you know, you might as well drop um, an email to Amazon, you might get a refund, you never know. So I sent him an email and I said, oh, you know, this game's arrived, it's unsealed, it should be factory sealed, especially brand new. Is there any chance you might send me a, a small refund as a, a goodwill gesture? Thinking they're going to tell me to piss off because the game was only £20, I mean, it's £40 quid a couple of weeks back. And uh, within like the hour, they emailed back and said, yeah, no problem at all. And they um, gave me a £3 refund. So technically, this cost me £16.99 and I got the refund today. So I would recommend if you ever get a, uh, a game arrive unsealed, Email them and get your money. <laughs> so I'll uh, give impressions on that when I've played it because I've not even tried to play it yet because you know, I'm playing uh, God of War 3 and I'm also playing another game which is taking a lot of time up which I'll be showing shortly uh, which is amazing. Right, okay, so that's that. Uh, I'll now do the next modern game and then I'll move on to the retro uh, games I've picked up this month. Right, okay, and then this is the other game that's taking up all my time at the moment. I've got, uh, what day is it now, Saturday? I got this Thursday, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Now, if you've watched my Saturday Night Special, uh, you will have seen this already. Uh, this game is absolutely fantastic, loving it to bits. Um, it's essentially just the original game with knobs on. It's just so much better, it's brilliant. The graphics are absolutely gorgeously stunning, beautifully graf beautiful graphics. Uh, the music, I love the remixed music, oh my god, it's so cool. It's just, it's just so hummable. You're just sitting there tapping your feet, it's like, oh yeah, this is quality. And the game itself is absolutely solid. Uh, the first world, I went through the first world and I had about 36 lives at the end of the first world. And I thought, it's a bit easy that was, what's going on? <laughs> it's not very challenging. Got to the second world, got a little more challenging. I thought, okay. Third world, got a bit more challenging. Fourth world, I'm now stuck on the second level. And it is absolutely rock solid. I lost all my lives and I've died a fair few times since then. I had to keep restarting it. It's 
absolutely rock solid. It's it's typical 